All right, welcome to my powerhouse pack review. So there's a new bundle in Save the World, but the skin is not necessarily solely for Save the World. You can use it in Battle Royale. However, when I go to the store, I don't see it. I'm on Save the World right now. I do not see it in the Save the World store. So in order to find it, you have to go to your console or PC's store. I assume it's eventually going to be in the item shop in Save the World, but like I said, it's not there right now. So come over here to search and it's called Powerhouse. So we're gonna type in Powerhouse, and there it is. $15.99 for the Powerhouse pack. So let me load this up, let's see what we got here. It says, charge up and shock your enemies with the Powerhouse pack featuring access to Save the World PVE campaign. So you get Save the World. If you don't have Save the World right now, you get it. You don't get any of the login bonuses, but you do get Save the World. You get a Powerhouse Hero, which is for Save the World. It looks like some challenges, which are only in Save the World, but the V-Bucks that you get, which is a thousand, goes for both Battle Royale or Save the World. Interesting, so you can see on the left what you get there. Basically, this pack is meant for Save the World, even though most of it is usable in Battle Royale. So it's kind of pricey for that, $15.99, but I'm gonna shell it out for you guys. I'm gonna buy this, we're gonna review it, and I'll let you know if it's worth $15.99. Oh boy, and with tax, it's $17.11. Come on. So here we go. It says Powerhouse Pack Rewards. Here's the PvE campaign access, but obviously I already have Save the World, so that doesn't do anything for me. Here's the back bling called the Power Pack. And here's the skin itself called Powerhouse. Interesting. So I'm going to do a full review here in the locker as well as in game. So let's take a look here. It says Elite Vendertech Electro Trooper. Huh. He basically has a toaster for a head. <laughs> I don't know. He's just a big robot, it looks like. He's got some cool blue loops on him that maybe have water or slurp juice in him. I can't tell. It does look animated. So I'm on the PS4 right now. I'm not on the PS5. Maybe I'll have to jump over there just to see if the animations change. His back playing apparently has the same things. I can't really tell if it's animated, though. It's kind of bland. I'm not going to lie. He does have a weird pop-up collar, I guess, is what I would call that. You can see the inside looks kind of cushioned with that bronze color in there. But other than that, he just looks like a giant robot. I don't think we're going to get much flair or animation out of this, but we'll see. The back bling says, supercharged and crackling with electric might. So if this is supposed to be electricity, I don't know why he's got that slurp juice or water in there. I feel like those two would not go well together. Interesting skin, to say the least. I'm very curious to see what it looks like in-game. But you know what? Since he's supposed to be electric, I'm going to go ahead and use the ACDC. All right, so here we go. This is the skin. So it's very hard to see the animation in those tubes. But I guess it's water. Because look at this. I put the slurp wrap on. And this is basically the Ripley wrap. And it doesn't match. So I think it's water and not slurp juice. But who knows? Maybe it is. Maybe I just picked the wrong wrap. Maybe I'm dumb. I don't know. Here's the pickaxe I chose with it. It says he was electric. I don't see anything electric about this skin. Very strange. Let me spin him around here. I mean, this is just a bland skin. I'm actually not impressed with this. So here's Tippy Tap. I know you guys like to see the front a little better. I think at night he would look pretty good. We're gonna wait until nighttime falls on the map here just to see. I'm pretty sure that all that blue will light up a nice illuminating color. But other than that, he's just a weird looking robot with what appears to be a toaster on his head. I think they could have done much better with the back bling though. It's just very bland, like I said. Oh, looks like darkness is quickly approaching here. Look at that. So that's a little better. I don't want to get sniped because this is a live match, but let me just, I'll just stand still here a minute. Do the tippy tap. Yeah, he does light up. It's kind of fluorescent, just like I thought. I mean, it's not too bright, but bright enough that it looks pretty cool. There's a gorger right there. So he definitely looks better in the dark, as you can see. I mean, he almost turns a jet black color instead of gray. And the blue definitely looks a lot better. Still very bland, in my opinion. Actually, the wrap looks a lot better now, too. It almost matches. 
I'm gonna try to sneak up on this guy. I want to get one elimination in this review. That's all I need. I feel dirty hitting this guy because he's fighting a gorger, but actually he's running. Oh, okay. Whoops. All right, so that was the in-game review. Now I'm coming to save the world and it does say quest complete. So I didn't actually do anything. I just wanted to show you guys and save the world where to find the challenges. Let's see what this is. This is probably just the weapon schematic. Okay, yeah, so you get the hero, which is powerhouse. And then you get the weapon schematic for the copper electro shock rifle. And then here are the challenges for a thousand V-Bucks. So to get to those challenges, if you're new to save the world, you go to quest right here. It's the first thing on this L1 toggle screen. And then on the bottom right, it says quest log. And for the PS4, you have to hit the right analog. And then in here, you should be able to find exactly where they are. So look at this. I potentially have 3,000 V-Bucks because I didn't do the metal team leader challenges yet. This will be 1,000 V-Bucks. I didn't do the samurai scrapper right here. That's another 1,000. And here's the ones we just got, the powerhouse starter bundle. So basically, the challenges just say to complete a daily quest in Save the World. So if you come back to the quest log main screen here, you can see your daily quest. It looks like you get three a day. So for every one you complete, you get a certain number of V-Bucks until you get your thousand V-Bucks. So the question here is, should you spend money on this pack? It was basically, for me, $17. For everyone else, it's around $15. That depends. For the skin itself, I would say no. Very rarely do I say a skin is not worth it, but this one is just not my cup of tea. Maybe you guys like this. Maybe it's something you would run, but I can't see myself ever running this. The only time I would run it is when I do completely random loadouts, which I do. I love doing that. It does look pretty nice at night, but during the day, it's just very, very bland. Now, with that said, if you do not own Save the World yet, I would totally buy this just because you get it. But let me make note of something here, because a lot of people buy these bundles to get Save the World, thinking they're going to get V-Bucks for logging in. You do not get V-Bucks anymore for daily logins in Save the World. That was only for the Founder Editions of Save the World. And in those Founder Editions, you also get V-Bucks for completing daily challenges. You don't get that either. It's replaced by something called X-Ray Tickets, I believe. So the only V-Bucks you'll ever get from Save the World are if they're challenges from these packs. Whereas for me, since I have the Founder's version, I get V-Bucks sometimes when I log in, and then I can get them from daily quests. So I just wanted to point that out because a lot of people buy these bundles just to get Save the World, thinking that they're going to get daily V-Bucks, but they canceled that. That's only for the Founder Editions. Now, of course, you do get the 1,000 V-Bucks once you complete the challenges, and that is technically $8 because 1,000 V-Bucks is $7.99. So basically, you're paying about $7 for this skin. If you think of it that way, I guess it is a steal, but like I said, I would never run this myself. It's just not a skin I enjoy. So that's my personal opinion of the bundle. Let me know in the comments what you think. Is this a skin you like? Would you run this? I don't know. It's just not doing it for me, but maybe you guys think differently. So that's it. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaborTime.